Being relatively new to Strong Start, it has supported our leadership, especially in terms of legislative agenda with the Education Commission of the States, and then also with respect to the peer network that we've been able to form because of the work so far in the last couple of months or so. And that has looked like, okay, best practices that we can bring to the state and institutions, measurements that we are maybe not collecting now, but we should be collecting in terms of our data analysis from institutions, in terms of outcomes for remedial classes, and co-requisite development, and then also giving a framework for best practices in terms of um, co-requisite course development. This has been something that's been missing for a long time in terms of a state-level leadership approach because we have, you know, institution A is doing it this way over here, institution B is doing it this way over here, but we can actually say, okay, here's data that Strong Start to Finish support is with, here is actual models we can definitely leverage, and then from the state level, with leadership say, okay, this is what it should look like.